Yo, my name is Dr. Knott, and this is Full Throttle Remastered, and today, our bike works, but the police are blocking us off. So we can't go this way. Where is it? That way. Uh, haven't tried that way. Let's go do that. The ambush is the other way. Yeah, but I know. The ambush is the other way. I know, but we can't go that way, buddy. Okay, so let's go... Wait, okay, you're just gonna... So apparently... So we can do stuff here? Okay, he's still out. I don't... I'm not... The song annoys me. I'm gonna under... <laughs> Let's take our bike. Maureen we can't do anything with. So here's what happens. Let's go back this way. The ambush is the other way. We go that way. But... We can't do anything because the police are blocking us. So how do we get the police out of there? They're all in their little hover vehicles. So maybe... If we set the... Can we set the alarm on this? Uh, like, I wish we wouldn't drop our bike here. Stay on the bike. Come over here. Can you come over here? No, stay on the bike. All right. Let's go on this thing. I wonder if we could get draw the police over here. And then jump on our bike and go. Like, would the, will they come to us? When we set the tower thing off. What is this? What the? Like, let's see. Yeah. Hey, He's back at the gas tower. He's got a lot of nerve, that piece of trash. Let's get him. All units, follow me. Perfect. Right, that works. Ben, how'd you get behind us? Where are the suits? Corley's making a pit stop. He has a bladder the size of a thimble, man. Ripburger? Haven't seen him in a while. Ben, man, what's the deal? Did you find did you find something up the road? Are we headed for trouble? No. We're in it. Put my head in a basket, cause I'd had a tank full. When she blew my gasket, I surely was thankful. Whoa. Till I head for the skies up above. It's a woman with wheels that I love. <sighs> and that zipper. Come on, old man. I gotcha. Now, do something incriminate, like ambush somebody. Aha, the plot thickens. You shouldn't have laughed at me in those board meetings, Malcolm. What a psycho. Gotcha. Hey, look what I found in the bushes. What is that? It's a chokehold. Come here and I'll demonstrate. It's got a camera. Not get her. No. Nestor will take care of her. You have an important engagement with the rest of the Corley family. Right. But don't forget to destroy that camera. Yeah, yeah. Now then, Malcolm. How about one for the road? Corley? Corley. Ben! <coughs> I guess Rip Berger couldn't wait for natural causes. Just like him to hit a man when he flies down. <coughs> Rip Berger did this to you? Yeah, he knew I was dying, and he knew that my will would put him out of a job. He wants to take over Corley Motors, Ben. Sell it off to foreigners, lay off workers, start making minivans. 
You understand me? Minivans. Oh. <coughs> you gotta hurt him for me, Ben. Promise me you'll hurt him bad. I promise. <coughs> I want my daughter to take over the company. You have a daughter? Yeah, and she's a real mechanical genius, Ben. Rebuilt her first carburetor when she was four. Eh, I used to call her the diaper dynamo. <coughs> Find my daughter, Ben. Find Marine. Marine? Ripburger's way ahead of me. I just hope Maureen can handle herself until I get there. Hmm. Gun, I understand. Why'd he bring a camera? Who does this guy work for? Corley Motors. Nestor, what's that moving over there by that pile? I don't know, Rip, but I think that pile is Bolus. <sighs> Yes, now I remember. You're the smart one, aren't you? There's Moe's shack, but I don't see the limo. Maybe I beat them. One second thought, maybe I didn't. Oh good, we're back where we started. Let's take a look at the debris. Looks like someone searched this place in a hurry. Nothing left but debris, except for that smashed up camera. Back's open. No film inside. Hmm. Mo said she didn't have a camera. Here's Mo's picture of her and her Uncle Pete at his mink ranch. She said she went there whenever she needed to get away for a while. That's pretty much my only lead right now. Mo's mink ranch? What do you say? This place is messed up enough. You wanna lick it? I'm not putting my lips on that. Alright. What's going down in here? Not much that I'm seeing. Alright, let's go. So... Should definitely close this mailbox. And then... What? Nice. So there's nothing happening here. Let's jump on this. I don't think going to any of these three helps. Can we go this way this time? Oh yeah, he didn't give us a, uh... But the ambush is the other way. So I wonder what is off in that direction. Oh. Kickstand, alright. Going on here. What's this? Semi. Where are you going? Holy Look, crap! I really need a ride. Okay. Look, I really need a ride. So we know what he wants Look, to do there. Yep. I okay. really need a ride. So we can be like not aggressive and talk, semi-aggressive and bang. And super aggressive hey, and killer. Kick. What? Hey, it's cool. Your secret's safe with me. What secret? Haven't you been watching the news? Once again, our top story tonight Malcolm Corley, owner of Corley Motors, was found dead at a rest stop just outside the town of Melonweed. Apparently, the benevolent patriarch and CEO was viciously beaten about the head and neck. Savagely and without mercy, police have arrested a notorious outlaw biker gang known as the Polecats. No. With the exception of their leader, who is still at large. Roadblocks have been set up along Highway 9 in an effort to apprehend this dangerous and violent criminal. We've been set up. Roadblocks suck. I shouldn't have left the gang there. Hey, I don't want to hear anything about it. You ain't making me an accessory after the fact. Just lay low, man. Okay, so we got this guy who is mutilating himself. Let's 
see that your truck out front? I need a ride. That's your truck out front. I need a ride. I look like a cabbie to you. Get lost. They're not letting anyone through that roadblock anyway. Not even truckers? They turned me around, said police business only. Pigs. Uh, I don't want it. Let's see, I can do that. I can do that. Not gonna happen. Okay, good. Seem to have a lot of time on your hands. Not to mention Nixon's scratches. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Am I distracting you? Okay. Good talking to you. Friendly folks you get in here. Damn, it's not what you'd call an I'm okay, you're okay person. Ah, shut your hole, Quohog. Okay. So, what can we do around here? We've got... Antlers. Badger. Piano. Bartender. Register. Bottles. Monitor. Other monitor. Other monitor. Picture. Picture. Alright. Look, let me tell you what happened. I told you I don't want to get involved. I'm not putting my lips on that. Oh, well, okay, let's go over here. Let's start just hitting things. Yeah, right. You don't play the piano? Play. There you go. Its little feet are nailed to the piano. Ouch. Those might look good mounted on my handlebars. Nah. Okay. I'm not putting my lips on that. Just Got look at it. To hang it in. The monitor doesn't have any controls. What are we gonna steal money from his register? What are we supposed to do around here? Nothing to grab. It's empty. Can't. Got a ride. We look. Let me tell you what happened. I told you I don't want to get involved. I go kick him. What are we doing here? He's got a knife. Yeah. All right. No. Well, what the hell? Can I walk back here? Like, go back. Wait, not that picture. Can I keep going back there? Not really. Well... Alright. What else is there to do around here? How did we get around? Oh yeah, here, around back. Psst. Oh, there you go. Over here! Psst. Okay. Ben, no time to talk. You know, it's stank in there, but I can't remember a better sleep. You gotta help me. Go find my editor in Corville. Tell him I took pictures of the Corley murder. You got pictures? Yeah, but some thug took my camera. So you don't have any pictures? Well, I tracked the guy to Melonweed, but I'm not going near the place. They kill me! Get my editor. He's gotta get me out of this. Take one of these fake IDs to get through the roadblocks. The my career is riding on those pictures. Help me, Ben. You're my only hope. Oh, don't worry. I owe you one. Okay. If Miranda's thug is the same one that trashed Moe's place. That could be Miranda's camera I saw there. But then, who's got the film? Probably the thug. Okay, so we can go through the roadblock now, allegedly, because we grabbed one of her generic cameras.
they're definitely not going to recognize me. Don't go all the way down to... Oh my god. Alright, good. Now go this way. It's like tediously long. Why do you go that route? Holy Moses. So much for returning to the scene of the crime. They'll be coming this way soon. I gotta get a plan. Fast. Wait, but we have one. What are you doing? Oh. Okay, so I could probably go via... Okay. Darn it. Alright, let's do this three-point turn here. Probably get the trucker to take us through. I was gonna say, there's no way we're going through on a bike. Alright, yo. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Uh, maybe if I do it enough, uh... Look, I really let me. need a ride. Not gonna happen. What the? Why? Because you're afraid of some cops? No, because I don't like you. I just killed a guy. I'm just about to. I don't think that's good for the table. Hey, Quahog. Yeah, Emmett? I'm gonna be knifing up your table for a while, all right? The customer with the knife is always right. Uh. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Okay. Can I... Good talking to you. I've got... This. What is this? Here. What's that? Fake federal investigator ID. Could be of some use at one of those roadblocks. Ever hear of this place? Uncle Pete's Mink Ranch. I remember there used to be some sort of weasel plantation or, or something up the road. Down Highway 9 on the other side of them damn roadblocks. I used to pick up mink meat there real cheap and sell it to school lunch. Oh my days. god. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good scam. So how about a ride? Perfect. What if they search the back and find my bike? It's buried in a pile of concentrated fertilizer powder. Trust me, no one's gonna dig through that crap. Now you're gonna ride in the engine compartment. The engine compartment? Hey, I smuggle stuff in there all the time, and most of it's worth more than you. So stuff your carcass in there quick, and we might hit that mink dump by morning. Hope you're better with a stick shift than you are with a knife. Yeah, yeah. Oh, great. Smells like he's got a fuel leak. I love engine fires. Sorry, sir. Only police vehicles beyond this point. I'm with the feds, Chunk. Check it out. Huh? What's this about? Undercover agricultural sting operation. What's in the back? Fertilizer. All right, move along. Hope you rude get your man. <laughs> All right, that works. Hmm. They stopped moving. with your truck? Yeah, <laughs> loose hose and nothing big. I, I already pulled your bike out. It's sitting right over there. Well, nice knowing you. Gotta hit the road, you know. What did you do? That bastard stole something off the bike. 100%. Uh-oh. 
Yeah. He did have a fuel leak, and he took my fuel line to fix it. That trucker's gonna die for what he did. Yep, there you go. That's what you need. Uncle Pete's Mink Ranch. Bargain minks. Dude, walk faster. <laughs> what in the hell is this? Don't put your lips on it, just look at it. I'm not putting my lips on that. It's locked. I, I don't have anything. I don't have anything. I don't have anything? Apparently. Dig I it. Couldn't break that lock. Hmm. No. What's the what's the banner though? What's this? Alt? I'm not into furs. Alright. No mementos. I'll have scars enough to remind me of this trip. Okay. <laughs> Pick the window. No. Punch the window. No. Kiss the window. I'm not putting my lips on that. This. Wait. Not after Mo made it so nice. This is Mo's place? All right, whatever. The barn's locked. Sweet mother of God. Okay, is there anywhere else to go? Can we walk around? I don't walk. I know, but like, can you do? Not going back that way. All right. Any cops? Well, can we grab something? I don't have anything. Like, is there anything we can do at all? Won't work without a fuel line. I hear you, buddy. But like, can you go back behind the mink place? I don't walk. Can you walk over here. I don't walk. I don't walk. Okay. So, apparently, there's got to be something else in here that I'm missing. Which isn't most likely possible. I mean, that's most likely the case. But, like, we're walking up to the top. What is going on? Did this freeze the game? Hello? Hello! <laughs> what the hell? Uh oh. There it is. Okay, that's pelt. So there's something in here that I'm sh I should be able to do. Window. Let's click around a little bit more. I'm just not seeing where it is. Kick the bed. Lots of bikes. Oh wait, I wonder. Oh, that's licking. That's looking. Are you joking me? Tough looking padlock. Okay. This must be the window Maureen stared out of as a young girl, dreaming of her life repairing toasters. I honestly did not see that. This is licking. This is. I thought it was just like, it goes back and forth like that. Wow. Looks like a mink pelt. That's the insignia of the vultures. I can't believe Mo used to be a vulture. But then again, how else could she have gotten that recoil booster? Uh-huh, okay. Well, do you have any insights as to how to do anything at all? Because this has got to be the... I mean, this is where we're supposed to do something. But... Hmm. Yes? Not 
Not after Mo made it so nice. I'm not putting my lips on that. Okay. Well, I'm at a complete loss as to where we could possibly go. Not glow, go. So I'm going to call it uh, an episode here. And next time, maybe I'll have some sort of insight. We found out that the eyeballs actually do something. That's I can look with eyeballs. Go figure. But I, is there anything else I can do around here? I couldn't break that lock. Right, but like... Okay, so yeah, I'll stop. Um, we will see what we can do next time. I'm going to walk out here and take one little look around. Let's uh, take a look here. Let's see what this... Now that I know that, we can actually look. And then I'll call it an episode, okay? So we'll do that right after he talks. The barn's locked. Let's look at my bike. That trucker's gonna die for what he did. No. Won't work without a fuel line. Alright. I will brainstorm this, and we'll see what we can do next time. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you then. Take care. Goodbye.